I meet people for the first time and you know you have the small talk with them and they ask me where am I from? I normally say I'm from Transylvania and they say, excuse me, what? I say Transylvania and they say, Transylvania? That's not a real place. Well, the older generation normally reacts like that's the place from Bram Stoker's novel. The younger generation says that that's the place from the movie Hotel Transylvania. But then I tell them that I can confirm Transylvania is real. It is actually the central region of Romania. I'm not sure about the bloodthirsty vampires, but the place is real. And actually, last year, Transylvania received a lot more attention because it was ranked as the number one region to visit in the entire world. And that made me think, because I'm from this place, but yet I know nothing about it. And also, I was thinking I never had the chance to travel or explore Romania as, as a country. So that gave me an idea, and the idea started with a why. Why not to travel to Romania and run across the most spectacular parts of Transylvania? Why not? And why not to record the whole adventure um, with a drone, you know, one of those flying cameras, and show the beauties of the country from the heaven? So I got really excited, and I got the drone. I flew to Romania exactly a year ago, and I was ready to start the, some test filming. And um, on the first day of the filming, I set up the drone to follow me, and I have some decent shots. But on the second day, as I'm operating the drone, I lost control of it, and I crashed it against a wall, a cliff, and it fell into a mountain river and disappeared. That was the last time I've seen it. It is probably in the Black Sea by now. Uh, next day, I wake up, and I'm, of course, I'm very upset. It was a great financial loss as well, and uh, that upset turned into anger, and somehow that anger turned into motivation, and I told to myself, I want to punch back. I want to make this film happen no matter what. So I flew back to London, I got a new drone, and I asked one of my friends to join the project as a project manager. We are, a month later, we are back to Romania, and we also hired a drone pilot to make sure we're not going to lose the drone uh, again. So the team was set up, and we were ready to roll, and now I'm going to show you a short clip from the film so you can see what we were up to. This summer, I set myself a challenge to achieve my dream and run across Transylvania. According to Lonely Planet, Transylvania is the number one region to visit now. This film is about my journey to explore this land, a land of beauty and mystery. I invite you to join me and see Transylvania as never seen before. And this journey begins right here at Dracula's Castle. So we spent uh, around one month on this project and on the very first day of the production we arrived to this small village uh, very isolated, middle of nowhere. And the idea was that I'm going to run through the village and we're going to record it. So we parked the production car in the village next to a house and we were ready to film. And I start running and I, as I'm running through the village, I see around 15, 20 cows approaching me. And uh, first I thought, uh, this is amazing, we're going to have cows in the film. Secondly, I wasn't sure how those cows going to re react when I'm running against them. But luckily, we managed to pass each other peacefully. Actually, one of the cows turned around and looked at me. I thought it's not a very common thing to see someone running through rural Transylvania. And uh, we've had the shot, so I'm going back to meet the crew. And uh, as I'm approaching our car, I hear a scream. And that scream was coming from the production manager inside of the car. And as I arrived to the car, I couldn't believe what I saw. One of the cows uh, squeezed herself into the gap between the car and the house. And she got stuck. She couldn't go forward. She couldn't go backwards. 
She's obviously getting frustrated with her belly. She's trying to push the car aside, but the car is uh, not moving. So in her frustration, it was really like a scene out of Jurassic Park, I can tell you. And uh, in her frustration, she knocks off the mirror of the car. She punches a hole inside of the car. And we were not prepared for what was coming next. Uh, I'm not even sure how to tell you this politely, but the car, sorry, the cow released a huge amount of poo. It was like a blast, and most of it went on our car. One of the villagers were running, seeing all this happening, and shouting at us, like, don't you know you're not supposed to park a car like this? You either leave a small gap, or you leave a large gap so the cows can pass through. Another villager uh, was coming as well with a cello tape to help us to stick back the mirror. And that was the very first day of the project and the production, and I was not believing we're going to survive the next uh, one month. So we had another nine, ten incredible locations to run through, and I'd like to show you now which was the place which was the most difficult to run through, but also which was the place which was the most difficult to film. So please enjoy the next clip. standing here in front of you and why I'm telling you uh, these stories. Well, because I like to share with you what I learned and what we learned as a team uh, during this uh, one month uh, project. Well, the number one lesson was we learned how to park a car in rural Transylvania. It is very important. It can save lives in the future, probably. The second lesson, uh, I understood why Lonely Planet ranked Transylvania as the number one region to visit in 2016. It is an incredible region and I also managed to reconnect with the people and the culture and the history of this place. It's truly uh, magical. And the third uh, lesson I had, it's uh, slightly more uh, personal. Uh, and that takes us back when the drone crashed and uh, the next day I'm very upset and then angry and somehow that turned into motivation. That negative event somehow uh, kick-started this project. That was the moment when I started to take it very seriously, this project. That was the moment when things started to move forward very quickly. So I learned that negative events, obstacles, problems during a project actually can kickstart. They can rocket fuel mine and your project. So today when I'm looking into any new project to start, I'm looking forward to those problems and issues to come. I'm looking forward and welcoming to the, those cows to come and see where they're going to take my story next. Thank you very much.